actually the worst thing you can hear as a YouTuber that drives for Uber is go get a nine to five. That's probably the worst thing you could hear because I tried that. You hear me? I tried that. I tried to go out and get a job at a community center, decent benefits, um, dealing with, you know, people with disabilities, uh, $14 an hour. And this was right, I want to say right after the pandemic, really, you just started hearing about the pandemic. So it was like early, I, I want to say early 2020. And um, I got the job and I started seeing all the stuff you had to do. And they wanted you to manage, you know, people that can't be around children. You know, one of them may be a klepto. And I started thinking to myself, I'd rather go back to driving, not deal with none of these hassles. Be, being able to at least get on and off the platform and maybe make an easy $20 an hour at the time. You, I got to remind you, though, this is two years ago. This is right in the peak of the pandemic. Literally, the pandemic went down when I was at the, uh, the second job, which was a group home. I left the community center literally probably two months in because I realized this is ridiculous. Went to work for a group home through connections from that community center. Again, same thing. They actually gave us during the pandemic an extra dollar. So it was like 15 an hour, not even 16 an hour. And you got to deal with uh, elderly people that were very sickly. Um, occasionally went to the bathroom on themselves. You had to do a lot of day to day stuff. And it wasn't that the average nine to five wasn't steady money. I get that, but it wasn't enough. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. 90% of the jobs for average Americans that without further education do not pay enough to live on. That's why a lot of people would rather drive for Uber because at least before wear and tear and before taxes, we easily clear more money an hour. Now, granted, after taxes and all the drama, you deal with that. But you're in the struggle. So you, you deal with your taxes the best way you can. Some people come out not paying any tax at all. Like in my case, when I filed for my Uber business, I had so many write-offs that I didn't have to pay anything in taxes. You know, that might be the case for you. But there's a lot of ways to leverage that. And um, there's benefits to doing this stuff because at least, you know, it's kind of sort of a business, you know, but telling somebody just go get a nine to five, stop complaining and go get a nine to five in 2020, you hear what I'm telling you in 2020, the money for Uber and Lyft was better. We didn't even have the upfront pay, but the money was better, much better. And when I first started back in 2018, it was even better than then. So telling somebody to go get a nine to five, that's probably up front, not going to pay them a livable wage, you know, is ridiculous. Now I've even heard, well, go back to school. I'm a middle-aged man. I see no value in going back to school for a possible career that I will hate. No one talks about the, you know, the other option you have. And every Uber driver has this option. You have the option of going to start your own business. And nobody told me this, but you should actually structure your Uber business as a real business from jump. And by starting a business that promotes 
multiple different things as well as putting your Uber and Lyft money into this business, you can not only just build credit, but now you could go after like grants, loans that want to see a legal structure. Granted, I did get the EIDL as a Uber driver sole proprietorship. They normally want to see real structured LLC or corporations to get this money it's out there guys you just have to go get it hit me in the comments subscribe like comment click the links below and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one thank you